So guys, hi, this is your passive baller discussing um, the game between Orlando Magic and Dallas Mavericks. We're still on January 9 NBA game day. Um, let's take a look at uh, the standings of both teams. Um, for Orlando Magic, uh, they're at number four with six wins and three losses. While the Dallas Mavericks, they're somewhere in the west at number six with four wins and four losses. Thing about Dallas Mavericks is that even though they're just on 500% even percentage, uh, they're on a back-to-back -back winning streak. So, you know, things are a little bit hotter <laughs> in Dallas right now. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, Orlando Magic just played last night, um, and it was a terrible game. Uh, it was a terrible game against Houston Rockets, and uh, they lost by... Guess what? 42 points. Yeah, you heard me right. 42 freaking points. That was just the worst loss that uh, that the Magic had in this conference. Uh, matter of fact, um, it has always been good for uh, Orlando. You know, uh, the last time that they lost was way back January 2, and it was just a nine-point loss. Although it was against Oklahoma, so it Orlando Magic has been a bit unpredictable in terms of losing i guess the only loss that they had here which was a bit predictable was against philadelphia 76ers because man philadelphia is the number one team in the east right but uh their other losses not that much against oklahoma i didn't expect that they would lose against oklahoma um against houston rockets yeah it's not like i didn't expect that houston can beat them but i didn't expect that houston can blow them out that huge man 42 points put me on that game i think i could score like four points there <laughs> well now for the dallas mavericks again i said um they just had a they just had back-to-back -back wins which is actually uh good news for all the dallas fans out there i'm just checking on uh the wins that they had uh the latest was against the denver nuggets that was a seven point win and then uh, prior to that, it was against Houston Rockets. So both against West uh, teams, which are both powerful teams. Houston Rockets and Denver Nuggets. So they're now up against uh, Orlando Magic, who just played last night and who just got blown out. And so that may explain the reason as to why the spread is at minus 7.5 in favor of Dallas. Again, Dallas minus 7.5. Orlando plus 7.5. I know fatigue has something to do with it because again, uh, Orlando uh, had that terrible game last night while Dallas was sleeping and resting up in their hotels. Uh, another thing is that uh, Dallas is having this back to back streak, so back to back winning streak at that. So that must have been considered as well. So, who are we gonna choose on this? Honestly, this is this is hard. Um, and please don't be fooled about that loss that Orlando had last night, forty-two points. You know that doesn't really happen uh, two days in a row or two nights in a row, um, for sure. I can I can tell you that. Um, so I'm really I was really surprised with this uh, huge of a huge of a spread that was given to Dallas. I think. It is just right that Dallas will be given uh, the expectation that they will win. Um, since Orlando played last night and since Dallas is on the streak. But minus 7.5, 7 I think this is just too much. Now with that said, I'm going to side with Orlando Magic on this. Plus 7.5. Another, uh, another, uh, another thing that I consider is that um, there are some uh, players in Dallas... Who might not be playing? Um, Dorian Finney-Smith is not going to play. Josh, Ris Josh Richardson is ruled out uh, for this game. Jalen Brunson is ruled out for this game. And uh, Trey Burke is listed as probable for this game. So he could be suiting up. We don't know. So Jalen uh, Brunson, Dorian Finney-Smith, Josh, Richard Josh Richardson's son they are all ruled out on this game because of some health protocols i think it also has something to do with this covid 
via shit. So, again, those are three people out. Dallas may still be winning, but uh, to cover that minus seven point five is really hard. So, and I'm I'm thinking of Orlando trying to get back at this because you know they just had an embarrassing. Uh, an embarrassing loss last night. So my pick or my side on this would be Orlando Magic plus 7.5. I'm quite confident about this one. Okay? So just to stay out there uh, uh, and wait for the remaining, I guess there would just be two remaining games left for January 9th game day. Okay? Take care out there. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.